So we're talking about checks and balances. And all of those checks and balances that we looked at in the other video, those are laid out in the Constitution. The framers put those things into the Constitution because they wanted to have a system that kept one branch from getting more powerful or, or too powerful compared to the other branches of government. But there's one big check, and it's the check that the judicial branch has. Probably, well, it's the most important, not probably, it's the most important check that the judicial branch has over the other two branches. It's called judicial review, and it's not in the Constitution. It came from a court case, actually, way back in 1803, and uh, we're going to take a look at that in this video, where this comes from, all right? So, we're talking about judicial, judicial review, and we're talking about 1803, a long time ago, right? 1803, a long time ago, and uh, it's a court case, and maybe you've heard of it. It's Marbury versus Madison. It's arguably the most famous court case, maybe the most important, I don't know, but uh, certainly one of them, Marbury versus Madison. And, uh, and it goes like this. So back in 1803 or right around then, this man named William Marbury, he, uh, he was appointed to be, or at least he was going to be appointed to be, a justice of the peace. So, William Marbury, appointed by Adams, by John Adams, he was the second president, John Adams, to be a JP, a justice of the peace. That's kind of like a judge, a county judge, or something like that. Right? Now, this was right at the end of Adams' term. So, if you remember... George Washington was president for two terms. Then his vice president, John Adams, was president for one term, four years. And at the end of his term, of Adams' term, he appointed Marbury to be a uh, justice of the peace, right? And this might have been the night before. This might have been the day before. It was right before he left office, right before Adams left office. But there was a problem. Somehow the paperwork, there was some paperwork that was involved. The paperwork to appoint Marbury to this job did not go through. So the appointment was not made official. Right? So Marbury didn't get the job. Well, it was at the end of Adam's term and his successor was Thomas Jefferson. As president. It was Thomas Jefferson. And Marbury wanted the job. He probably made some noise, probably made a fuss about the job, wanting the job. Jefferson found out about the fuss, about the job, about the appointment, that the paperwork did not go through. He told Madison, it's James Madison, that was Jefferson's Secretary of State. Okay, James Madison was Thomas Jefferson's his Secretary of State. Jefferson said, Madison, do not submit the paperwork, do not file the paperwork that will give Marbury the job. Presumably, Mar Jefferson wanted to give the job to somebody else, right? That's the way it works, the spoils. Well, Marbury didn't like that, so he sued Madison to say that Madison had, he wanted a court to say Madison had to file the paperwork, okay? So Marbury versus Madison, that, that's, that's the basis for the case, right? And he took that to the, so he sued, right? And he took the case, took the case to the U.S. Supreme Court. So of course, U.S. Supreme Court. So Marbury took the case, to the U.S. Supreme Court to force, to get the Supreme Court to force Madison to file the paperwork so he could have the job that Adams had appointed him to. Okay. Well, 
we need to know a couple of things. We need to know some facts here. According to the Constitution, all right? According to the According to the Constitution, There's two ways that a case reaches the Supreme Court. And the first is by appeal or on appeal. For the most part, the Supreme Court is an appellate court. It means that you have to file your case in a lower court, a federal district court or a, a, a district court at the, uh, or sorry, a, a lower court at the state level, and then you have to lose, right? If the final, you have to lose, you have to appeal, and then, depending on what system you're in, federal or state, you go up high enough, you keep losing, the Supreme Court might choose to hear the case. Okay? So that's by appeal. Right? The second is directly, but only if involving a foreign country. If a case involves a foreign country, then you can take, according to the Constitution, you can take your case to the, directly to the Supreme Court. Well, Marbury's case, well, he, he, didn't, he took it right to the Supreme Court. He didn't go through the appellate system, right? So he didn't do that, and it had nothing to do with a foreign country. So how did, why did... Marbury think it was okay to take his case directly to the Supreme Court. Well, in, in 1789, Congress passed a law, the Judiciary Act. Now, all of the specifics of the Judiciary Act are not important for us right now. What is important to know is that there was part of this law that said that uh, at least that Marbury said, allowed him to take his case to the Supreme Court, directly to the Supreme Court. It's about a writ of mandamus, and if you're gonna make somebody, force somebody to do something, it gets complicated, don't worry about that. Just know that Marbury thought that because of this act, this uh, Judiciary Act in 1789, that it allowed him to take his case to the Supreme Court, and on its face, it did. On its face, there was uh, a stipulation in here, there was a condition in here that did allow, I mean, Marbury wasn't wrong about that, it did allow him to take his case to the Supreme Court. Well, the Supreme Court decided to hear the case. And John Marshall, Marshall, if I can see, well, oh, sorry about that. John Marshall, he was the Chief Justice, okay? He was the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, and he wrote the decision. He wrote the opinion for the court. Four to nothing opinion, and uh, it was small court at the time, small court at the time. John Marshall, he wrote, oh, gosh, that's messy. Sorry about that, John. Marshall, there we go. That's a little bit better. John Marshall, he was the Chief Justice. He wrote the opinion, four to nothing. A unanimous verdict. Well, they held a couple of things. One, they held that Marbury was entitled to the job. Great for Marbury. But bad for Marbury, they said that Madison did not have to file the paperwork. So Marbury was not going to get the job. And that's because they said that Marbury should not have even taken his case to the Supreme Court. He should have filed it over here. He should not have filed it there. So he was going to lose. Now, why did they say that? Why did they say that he should not have taken this case to the Supreme Court? Even though this law passed by Congress said that he could do it. What they said was, this law, this Judiciary Act, they ruled it to be unconstitutional. It said that this law was unconstitutional because it went against the Constitution, and it did. Right. It gave another way to get to the Supreme Court for a case, for a, uh, for a lawsuit to get to the Supreme Court that did not follow these two ways listed in the Constitution. They said, no, 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 no. The Constitution says this. 
This is the law of the land. Said that the Constitution is the law of the land, not any law that Congress wants to come up with. And a law that Congress comes up with, if it does not follow the Constitution, if it contradicts the Constitution, it's unconstitutional. So this is where judicial review came from. Before this, the Supreme Court had not ex exercised its power to, uh, to call, to, to label laws, or later on could be executive actions, unconstitutional. But this is where it came from. And since then, the Supreme Court's been doing it, right? It's been doing it ever since. That's a uh, large part of what it does, okay? Uh, they, it, it, it examines laws or things like that um, that it, are brought in front of them via cases, via court cases, all right? So this is where judicial review comes from. It is the biggest check for the judicial branch, and it's not in the Constitution, which I think is really fascinating. Don't know if you're going to get asked about it, but I do think it's important to know.